not to notice that CBD is in products all over the place, but is it a miracle drug or snake oil? Really depends on who you ask, but one thing is for sure, these products are everywhere. Now that CBD is legal under federal law, people use it to help them heal, even though there's little evidence to show that it works for anything other than seizures. And a lot of people worry about the long-term health effects. That's why the government is spending millions to study CBD safety. CBD. Those three letters are popping up in countless products. I just heard, heard it all over the place. The cannabis extract is in everything from cosmetics and lotions. I try the bath bombs of CBD. If I'm stiff even after exercise, it's great. To CBD-infused drinks. We used to put droplets of it in our coffees. Even athletes like retired Patriot star Rob Gronkowski are endorsing it, calling it a game changer to help tackle so now, pain. You can just call me Mr. Recovery. The problem is there is no science to support any of these claims. It looks like a gold rush. If it keeps going the way it's going, you're going to have a lot of tainted product in the market soon. That's because cannabidiol supplements are not tested, approved, or regulated by the Food and Drug Administration, so you don't really know what you're getting or if it's as pure and as potent as the label claims. Dean Pecanis is the CEO of Canna Life, a biopharmaceutical company that's trying to develop a drug derived from CBD to treat pain and cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy. But prescription drugs save lives. Don't make any mistake about it. And they save lives because they're, the, the backbone of it is data-driven, scientific, validated, before it even gets into humans. But some people aren't waiting for the medical research to happen. A new poll shows one in seven Americans is using over-the-counter CBD products and major retailers like CVS, Walgreens and Rite Aid are already selling the products. We are navigating clinically without any base data. We're trying to work with our patients, not basing our recommendation on evidence. Dr. Mikhail Kogan is the medical director of the George Washington University Center for Integrative oh, Medicine. Could, could, he says he's could, seen the benefits of CBD firsthand, but cautions the long-term impacts are still unknown. The Arthritis Foundation also knows that patients are using CBD for pain and insomnia. They're not endorsing it, but they are the first major medical organization to issue guidelines on how to take it safely. Only one CBD medication has been approved by the FDA to treat a rare form of epilepsy in children. But more medical studies are underway with $3 million in federal grants going out to study the therapeutic benefits of CBD as an alternative to opioids, which we know are highly addictive. Researchers are working hard to try to figure this out with 170 clinical trials related to CBD research, according to the National Institutes of Health database. But it could be years before we have results. The feds just clarified that companies don't need a special license to possess CBD for research purposes. That's to encourage more medical studies on the potential benefits and side effects. Even though the long-term impact isn't clear, you should know that CBD can interfere with some antidepressants, some blood thinners, and birth control. Mm. So it is important to talk to your doctor before you decide to start using any CBD product. Still mm. a lot of questions. Yes. Yeah, but so there's many. so much demand for this stuff out there. They've got to come up with some kind of solution, answers pretty quickly. They do, and and I think that uh, I think that the, the researchers and the funders are beginning to understand we we got to do something. Yeah. Yeah.